valid parenthesis so let's see what this question is saying so we have given a string string of brackets okay there are like three types of brackets i guess this one curved curly and square brackets and we have to see that if it is a valid parenthesis then open close okay this one is true open close open close open close this one is true open close is right but closing bracket is different from the opening bracket okay so that's why it is false okay so open and then this close or oh, this bracket opening bracket is not same as this closing bracket okay so the first thing that comes in my mind to solve this question is again stacks okay so let's see how can we solve this i'll paste it over here so we have something like this then this then this and then this okay so i can see this is opening this is opening okay but this is closing and this is not the right bracket corresponding right bracket for this one so if i see my stack if you have followed all my videos you would be able to come up with this approach because guys in coding now there's a the most important thing that you should realize is pattern recognition because only there's like um like for example like there are so many questions okay out there like in hackerank hackerhurt lead code geeks for geeks there's so many sites but if you pull in all the questions now you will see like almost like only 500 questions contains the logic okay and all other questions are made using that logic only but with some minor uh, manipulation or just minute manipulation okay so guys basically you have to recognize the pattern and after that you will be able to approach each and every question with that uh, pattern okay uh, in short <laughs> maybe i messed it up basically every question has some pattern okay so like we are doing so many uh, questions of stacks for um in all these videos so now if you have followed all those videos you would be able to see that making just minute changes in some code you are getting the solution for some other problem okay so you have to recognize that pattern okay so for this if i open this bracket i will keep the opening bracket in this uh, stack then again opening bracket i will again open it okay then closing bracket so whenever i put a closing bracket i have to check if it is closing for this one or not so it is not closing for this one then at that point only i can return false okay so if i take this one example okay if i take this example this one okay so it is somewhat like this curly bracket square bracket square bracket curly bracket so away again i will iterate it over here whenever there's an opening bracket i will directly put it inside the stack opening opening then closing whenever uh, whenever there's a closing bracket i will check that the top of the stack is corresponding to this closing bracket or not so this one is corresponding to this so i can just pop it now i will be over here then again this one is corresponding to this one then i can again pop this and my iteration is over and i didn't get any false over here so i can return true perfect so i just uh, there just one thing that i need to take care of that is i have to map this bracket with this bracket to map this bracket with this bracket and i have to map this bracket with this bracket that's it uh, after that my question again becomes a classic stacks question okay so now let's get into the code okay so basically what we have to do is i have to make a map map of character to character map then for and i or oh, just a second i can map i have to push that closing bracket equals to this opening bracket then map this closing bracket curly closing bracket or oh, opening oh, corresponding to the opening curly bracket then map or oh, closing closing and what was the third one or oh, square bracket right equals to opening square bracket got it 
so my map is complete now i can just iterate over the loop for int i equals to zero i should be less than s dot size i plus plus and then if s of i is equal to equal to i told you for opening bracket i can just push it so s of i is equal to equal to other opening bracket and s of i is equal to equal to the uh, square opening bracket then what i have to do is s dot stack okay i never didn't make the stack stack dot stack of characters stack stack dot push s of i okay now I'm, if it's an opening bracket i have just have to push it else now it would be a closing bracket okay so if it is a closing bracket now i have to check if um, s of i i have to map s of i because for this closing bracket i have to check that the stack top of the stack is equal to that corresponding closing bracket so s of i is equal to equal to stack dot top then i can write stack dot pop else return false because if it is not equal it's a different bracket just like in this case it's an opening square bracket and a closing curve bracket then at that point only have to return false and otherwise in the last i have to return true so this would take care of all the situation and let's check if it works or not perfect it got accepted submitted mm, okay so okay so there's an opening bracket so this condition was there so in the last i have to check that my like if there's a no uh, no closing bracket for that corresponding opening bracket then also it should return false so in the last rather than just returning true i want if stack dot empty return true return false so if my stack is not empty okay so there was not no uh, there was no closing bracket for that so my uh, stack won't be empty and so at that point it would return false it should return false okay now we have again this thing so what is this else okay stack dot top i have to check stack dot empty if it's a closing bracket okay if it's a closing bracket then i have to check that the topmost element of the stack is equal to that corresponding closing bracket or not that's the first thing or the stack is not empty and the stack should shouldn't be empty because if the stack is empty then there there is no way i can check that if it is equal to the topmost element or not and if that's the case then it won't be a valid parenthesis so for that i have written this and then i will run this perfect faster than 100 percent guys so this is again um parenthesis question and we did uh parenthesis question back in our series also so go through all the videos guys and after this question all our easy question of stacks on lead code platform are finished so from next video we'll jump on the medium problems so this is how you solve valid parenthesis perfect see you in the next video guys bye bye